Welcome back to See Witch World. Today I got my cuz with me, my cuz Calvin, and we about to get into some ribs. But we first we're gonna say the prayers, and then we're gonna get into this food. Let y'all know what's going on. All right. Let us say our prayers. Most holy and wise God, Father, we thank you for this food. We ask you to bless the Lord and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all, today we have some jerk, um, some jerk ribs. We have some fried uh, ribs with uh, powder, um, protein powder. We have some string beans with some green with some um, ham up in there, and we got some cauliflower mac, y'all. Mm-hmm. So we about to get it in. All right. And first, um, just want to talk to my brother a little bit. And see him in a while. See what's going on. Everything going on good. Everything is good. All right. So the good thing about it. Is Calvin been um, on the keto diet? Well, Omed. He do a little keto too, right? A little keto. But he doing the Omed. That's one meal a day. And how much weight you lost so far? Uh, about 27 pounds. About tw 27 pounds, yeah. How long you been doing it? Since June. Since June, 27 pounds. That's pretty good. All right. So anyway, we're going to get into this food. And then we're going to talk some more about... Um, how, what do you think about the diet, the old man diet? All right, I got a fried rib, and I'm gonna get one of these over here. You gonna get a fried one too? Have you, you ever tried the protein? Have you, have you ever tried the fried with the protein? No. Protein powder. Oh uh, yeah, just like the flour, I use the protein powder for these. Go ahead, we're gonna. Mm. Woo! Pretty good. First time I tried the um, it's a flying here. First time I tried the um, mac cauliflower. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Okay. Get some of these string beans. And I'm gonna let you go for what you know. I see. Supposed to let the guests go first. It's all right. It's all good. <laughs> as long as you save me some. Oh, I'm saving some. Let me taste this um, cauliflower mac. Pam just did this and got it just coming out of the oven, y'all. Piping hot. If y'all can see it. Mm. Yeah, I had it before Felicia made this. My own. It's the bomb. Cuz made this, but she ain't bring me none. So, if y'all can see it, it's hot. Mmm. It's just taste pretty good. Just like regular macaroni and cheese. Mm hmm. Mmm. We, we fooled a couple people with it. We oh, did y'all? We didn't tell them what it was after they ate it. Mmm. Well, that's real good. We didn't want to discourage you. Yeah, because people don't understand there's a lot of stuff that you can eat. And you cut back. And you're really enjoying a lot of good stuff. Let me taste these jerk ribs. Y'all see the jerk ribs a little dark. That's the seasoning that I used on. These fresh greens. Mm-mm. It tastes fresh. <laughs> Off the garden. I got a garden back in the yard. Back mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Wish we did have a garden in the backyard. <laughs> well, fresh out of the can. Mm -mm. Mm. They're actually frozen. Oh, okay. Frozen stream in. The long frozen stream in. It's yep. pretty good. Well, thank you. Well, any particular foods you really like? That you think we can make this way? That you know of? First of all, have you ever tried fried ribs? Yeah. Okay. This is a lot of people never even tried fried spare ribs. They think they're too tough. But these, we use baby bats. They turn them. I tried some, you know, we got a new air fryer. I tried them in the air fryer. Some baby back ribs. Were they pretty good? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. I just did that jerk season on it, and that's another whole, you know, element of flavor. 
So you get both of these? You fry both of these? Or one of them went in the air fryer? Mm -hmm. the, um, the jerk went in the air fryer. Okay. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Well. We kicked the girls out tonight, y'all. We kicked them out. Mm -hmm. We took over. Y'all gonna see them, though. They're gonna do one. They're gonna do a video. Where they gonna kick us out. Mm-hmm. Unless we wanna sneak away and go fishing and do something. <laughs> but, jerk's real pretty good. Mm -hmm. It was easy, too. It was easy. All I did was marinate them this morning and put them in the freezer. I mean, the refrigerator. Mm-hmm. And got back, throw them in there. How long you keep them in the um, air fryer? About, about, two, about 20, 25 minutes, something like that. So you don't flip them or anything? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I always got that grill on, you know, the separating grill on it. You all got, got yeah. the separating grill? Who got one just like that? You just get. Yeah. I got it for Father's Day or some type of one. So, have you been using it? Yeah. I used it last night. We made some, um, put some steaks in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It came out good? Mm hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm hmm. Mm. I like those rocks they got in there. You can put more food in mm -hmm. there. Mm hmm. Yep. Ooh, it's good, y'all. Yep. You ain't missing nothing. Sometimes you feel like you're missing something. You, you can't have fried chicken, fried rib, fried pork chops, whatever. The protein powder hook you right on up. It's macaroni and cheese, man. Ooh, it's good. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, it's good. Still piping hot. It'll probably be better than mine. Mm-hmm. Who, sure. does, who does all the cooking? You or your wife? We both share. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, when you're doing your old man, what are your times times that you usually try to eat? So I know somebody probably wondering that. Around four or five. Okay. Mm -hmm. So during the day, I drink a lot of liquids. Okay. And stay busy. That's the key right there. Right. Find something to do. Stay busy. Um, four or five of each, and that's it. When you first started, did you feel any like weakness, sickness, or anything? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just could straight go into it and do it. Yep. Get up the next morning, whatever calories I consumed, I I probably walk them off. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. And that's awesome. Can you try to get exercise and everything? You're walking, yeah. Mm -hmm. If the weather's right, I do. Mm -hmm. When I first started, I couldn't walk. I was too, I was too heavy. I just felt like I couldn't do nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to come home and sit in the chair. I didn't have no energy to do nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know those days. My legs <clears throat> hurting, my feet were hurting. I just didn't want to do nothing. But then when I started sticking to it a while I got more energy in mm -hmm. my I mean I wanted to be more active mm -hmm. well what caused me to start walking we had this um Nike challenge at church mm. and the first one was like the 21 miles in like 14 days mm -hmm. so I hadn't walked in probably for hours in a day and I went out there and I think I walked like four miles mm -hmm. and it and they go by the top ten and the top three. I think I was like at number nine. Good. So about a month later, we had another one. I was determined I'm gonna get in that top three. Mm -hmm. And I had to, I got it in. But what happened? Close to the end of the challenge, the last close to the last next to the last day, um, it started raining at the track. So I had to improvise. Mm. So I had to go up in Walmart, get my walk in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ended up going to Lowe's, and I still didn't have enough um, Dang. enough steps to get it in. So I ended up going to um, South Park, and that's when I got the rest of it in. And I came in at number three on that one right there. So it all worked out. And ever since then, I've been walking. Oh, that's good. As long as the weather right, I can get out there. So I know when I started, 
do my keto and on that. I was like on the border of diabetes mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Have you had any issues with any of that stuff before you started trying to lose weight or whatever? Or working on this? Mm-mm. Okay, good. That's awesome. Because I know a lot of people, they have sugar diabetes. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm type 2 diabetic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm diet. Part. Okay, and they'll come off of it, like a certain, mm-hmm. you know. You can come off it. Yeah. So when you get on those lifestyle changes, so don't treat it as a life sentence, you know. Enjoy what you're doing. Right, right. So you you got to consider that you didn't put that weight down on overnight, you're not going to lose it overnight. And that's what I love about this diet. Yeah. This, um, well, I call time. it a lifestyle. Yeah, take your time. That's what I enjoy about it because <clears throat> you need to do this slow. Because mm-hmm. you get your mind clicked into what you're doing, what yeah. you're eating, yeah. your, your, um, Things that you cook, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. You get all that process in your mind. If you do it real, real fast, like overnight, you're gonna gain it back. Right you're gonna gain it right on back. But once you get into your mind, what you're doing and how you can um, work this thing out as a lifestyle, no. you hooked up. And stay away from that that um, scale. We get on the scale every day. Yeah, you got to get on every week. You know, mm-hmm. you'll know if you put on a few pounds. I know. So what you think about buying clothes and stuff like that? How you clothes them? I ain't bought no more. You ain't bought no mm-hmm. more. So are you noticing they big? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> They're getting big, gonna get even bigger. <laughs> if I continue doing what I'm doing. So what you gonna do? I don't know. I can't you buy any row row. So you gonna have to buy some, some clothes? No, I'll take them up one. <laughs> <laughs> you really like the shop. Cause they'll be buying us some more stuff. I just found one of my old belts. Because mm. I couldn't wear My other belt ran out of holes. I don't want, I'm going to determine I was not going to take the knife and put a hole in the belt. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, I found one. And it got a little bit more holes in that one. Mm. The over arm. I don't like the shopping thing, though. No. I don't like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hey, eat some more. All right, don't, cut, don't worry. <laughs> we'll put a little dent in it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So you don't care for salt, seafood too much, do you? Uh, fish. Mm-hmm. You like fish? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That type of fish. Sometimes some um, shrimp. That's more basic. No shell. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. When I was young, I didn't like fish at all. I didn't like the fishy taste. Mm. But as I got older and noticed that certain fish don't have that. Mm-hmm. It's all in about the fish that you buy. Yeah. So if you could give somebody that's thinking about starting oh man some uh, idea or something, what would you, or suggestions, what would you give them? Research is first, because what's working for me may not work for them that one meal a day. Mm-hmm. They might have to take that meal and break it down to maybe two or three meals a day. Mm-hmm. So. Do a little research and then maybe consult their physician or something if they're on any type of medication. Because mm-hmm. your physician might say you can't do one meal a day. Right. Yeah. That's very important. Yeah. It's a fly here, y'all. And he's in China. He's trying to get some all good food, but he ain't. Yep. Yeah. But, like you said, y'all, you gotta read your body, listen to your body. What your body's saying to you. If you can do it, do it. You might have to just do two meals. Just don't do breakfast. Do a light lunch and do a nice dinner with your family mm-hmm. until you can get your mind processed that you can do better. But um, take your time. Don't rush because you didn't get this overnight. No, nope, you're going to lose and it overnight. You ain't, shouldn't lose it overnight. And people get on my nerves when I see stuff lose 100 pounds in a month. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that is crazy, and you gonna gain a hundred pounds in a month too. Mm-hmm. Oops, that's ridiculous. Just take your time. Exactly. Lose the, lose the gradually. I, you know, everybody, they got their own choice about the, the cheat days. I don't really care for the cheat days. Mm-hmm. That's probably the reason why I got all this weight on because I cheated. <laughs> so More I, days. So than I you. said yes. I said to each his own. Did it work for you? But no, I just stick to stick to the plan. Mm-hmm. Stick to the plan. If it's working, and you can see it's working. Yeah. 
Don't mess with it. Yeah. Leave it alone. Yeah. If it's not working, then you can mm -hmm. cut yourself down, cut yourself back on some calories or something. Nah, they lose five or six pounds in a week, and they think they get a cheat day. They want no. to celebrate. Oh, yeah, they need time to celebrate. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> you got 40, 50 more to go. And you know, and those are the ones that used to be struggling the hardest mm -hmm. to drop them. You know, they lose a couple, then they gain three. So, y'all, we're going to finish up some more of this food. We're going to get out of here because we know. Y'all got more to do than to sit and watch us eat all day. So, all right, y'all, we're going to say peace out. Love y'all. And stay on the grind. Do what you're supposed to do. And don't eat what you ain't supposed to eat. All right, peace out. Love y'all. Take care. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment because I'm coming back to get you.